Hey, what's up everyone? Kobanaman 456 here today, presenting to you all a new episode of Mod Mondays for Sonic Generations PC, as we are going to be trying out another character mod from Ultimate Darkman 2010, and that is Dark Sonic for Modern and Classic Sonics. So if you would like to try it out for yourself, the link to his channel is in the description below. And as always, if you all would like to enter for a chance to win a copy of this game or Lost World, there are rules down below as well. And I want to give a big congrats to last week's winner, TZ27 Gaming, who asked me, Kobe, would you make your own mod, and if you did, what would it be about? As we'll be answering that later on in this video, but let's go ahead and get into this. So if I do sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm still actually sick. Uh, what ended up happening was, I went to LA, and I just got back yesterday, and pretty much like the day I was going there, I was like actually feeling better like I, I felt like I, it was gonna go away in the day but then I guess the plane or whatever the pressure from being up high like messed up my nose to where I started like getting like slight bleeding and it, it's just been terrible so it's still kind of lingering so that's why I sound a little bit weird but uh anyway I'm gonna actually uh play a different stage instead of Green Hill Zone because I have so many people who are always like Kobe stop playing Green Hill Zone like I'm getting tired of that Kobe so uh let's see what should I play I think I may play, should I play Rooftop Run or should I play Crisis City? I think I'm going to play Crisis City because I feel like that's a more fitting stage for Dark Sonic, so let's go ahead and do this. By the way, I want to give a quick apology to last two weeks giveaway winners. I don't want you all to think I'm leaving you completely out in the dark, but um, over the past like two weeks I've been really, really busy and kind of forgetful because of everything that I have planned for this month. But uh, this week, I'm going to be in town mostly, so shouldn't have too many problems with um, actually trying to get back to you all. Though I am going to have to start doing taxes this week, which is going to be a complete and utter pain in the booty. But, you know, adult things, things that you got to do in life. And, yeah, anyway, let me actually focus on this mod here. So what we got here is Dark Sonic. Um, if you all don't know who this is, basically, it's a character from Sonic X. Um... And it's basically a triggered version of Sonic that comes to life after, um, like, a deep loss or something like that. Like, Sonic thought that Chris Thorndike was, like, um, extremely hurt or whatever. So because of that, like, he lost complete and utter control and ripped two Metarex apart, which was probably one of the most BA scenes, like, in Sonic X. Like, I, I know a lot of people think Sonic X is kind of trashy and, I don't know, it... I felt like it kind of got progressively worse over time, but I don't know. There's some things that I do actually like about Sonic X, and I would really, really love to see a Sonic anime. Though I would like to see it in the uh, art style of um, Sonic Riders, the uh, opening intro for that game, because um, in case you all didn't know, I don't know if I've said this. I'm pretty sure I've said this multiple times, but uh, the intro for Sonic, uh, Sonic Riders, like the original game, was actually done by the people who um, also worked on the Attack on Titan animation. So yeah, pretty awesome. And you can actually kind of see it a little bit in the animation style of the game. It has that kind of more like hand-drawn look to it. All right, so right now we are just blazing through this. Definitely not my best time at all. In fact, I should try and focus on doing that real quick. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh my God. Yo, he's like super blacked out. Holy crap. And, like, he's got, like, this really cool blur look to him, too, when he's running at, like, full speed right here. Look at that. We can just run through the fire. But there we go. That is it. For oh, my God. That looks so awesome. Yo. I'm sorry. I'm definitely having a nerdgasm right now. But, seriously. Dirk Sonic is definitely one of the coolest looking um, super forms for Sonic. And I know I, for some, I actually did, uh apparently get um the fleetway supersonic description a little bit off last week so for all the people who corrected me with that thanks i'm just i don't know sometimes i'm actually pretty forgetful with how certain things are but i should probably kind of refresh myself um before i actually do kind of give a description of the character when i'm making videos like this but uh next week i will be doing the hyper uh supersonic playthrough which um, a lot of people actually seem to want, which I'm very happy about. All right, quick edit there, sorry about that. But we're gonna go on to Sky Sanctuary Act 1 with classic Dark Supersonic. And uh, there's really no huge difference with this one besides uh, the fact that it's basically um, an ebony, ebony Supersonic. But we get ourselves like a really cool like blue 
cloud that appears behind him whenever he like charges up his spin dash, which I think is actually really cool. Looks really, really awesome. Now, for some reason with this character mod, my buttons are very, very unresponsive. So don't think I'm like actually terrible, because I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm partially terrible, but I'm not like 100% terrible. Um, yeah, for some reason my jump is like really, really late. For some odd reason, I don't know why. But um, hopefully that issue will disappear in a moment as uh, we continue on. But let me actually answer uh, the question of the day for this video. Let's not save it for the ending like last time. So would I make a character mod or a mod? And if so, what would it be about? Um, honestly, I've been wanting to do a mod for quite a while. Um, I was actually talking to uh, my good friend Peroxade, um, I don't know, like maybe a few months ago about it when I was actually considering it a lot. Um, I want to make a Hydra City Zone mod, like I, I want to make a Hydra City Zone level mod. I think that would be like so awesome to do because no one has really done like a ton of stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so I would really really love for that to be a thing that I can do maybe, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually have the time to be able to do that considering I have so many playthroughs to actually catch up on, but um, oh wow, really? Well that stinks. <laughs> I had like my super form and everything and then just ended up losing it, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. That That's always been something I've really, really wanted to do, a stage mod for uh, Hydra City Zone for the modern Sonic stage. Was like, wouldn't that be awesome to see like a modern Sonic version of Hydra City Zone or just the classic Sonic stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I feel like that game, even though like so many people say like that's one of the best games in the series or whatever, it's like not really shown off as much. We we see like other games like Sonic 2 or you know Sonic CD or Sonic 1 get more uh, representation in fan games and all that stuff. So I would really really love to see like something like that. And honestly, I would be perfectly fine with like Sega remaking Sonic 3 and Knuckles like entirely with a new graphics engine. Maybe make it like this, like classic Sonic or I don't know, something like that. But yeah, if I ever did make a mod, it would definitely be that. And if I made a character mod, hmm, if I made a character mod, who would I want? It's kind of hard to decide, honestly. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think right now. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe I would do Goku because so many people keep asking for that and no one's ever actually obliged Goku. Like, it's crazy. Like, we get so many people who send out requests for, like, different character mods in Sonic Generations. But I'm pretty sure Goku is, like, the number one most requested one. So, for no one to have actually made... Oh, what the heck? Okay, excuse me. But for someone to have never made, like, a Goku mod, I think that's really, really crazy. So, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that uh, wraps up for this video, so thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, as always, you know, make sure to drop that like and a comment, it helps out tremendously. Next time we will be doing the full playthrough of Sonic Generations with Hypersonics. And uh, yeah, hope you all are excited for that, and um, be on the lookout for more uploads later today and this week. Anyway, thanks again for watching, see you all, have a good day. Peace, Republic of Kobanamite, and take care.